So yeah. of that know, feel, believe, and do, mm -hmm. is when you're working with clients and you're looking through that lens, those or those four lenses, mm -hmm. is there any one of those lenses that seems to be harder for people to get than another, or is it? I think it just depends on the individual. Yeah. Okay. So going back to your technical folks, for example, that feeling, that emotion yeah. may be hard for them because they're so heady and they may think, well, I don't care how they feel about it. It's like as long as they understand it and can move forward or make a decision based on that understanding, then that's good enough. So folks who are kind of linear left brain like myself um, don't tend to you know, favor those types of stories. And so it works the opposite, just the opposite way as well. You have some people who all they want to do is tell stories and never make a point. And it's like, well, why would people want to listen to you, you know, yeah. particularly in a business environment? So I think it just depends on the person. And so I have a process where I try to gauge where people are on that spectrum. And then I, in a nice way, kind of push them in the other direction. Yeah, nice. Okay. Um, good, I'm looking at our time. We still have some more time because I got more questions for you. Okay. <laughs> so um, something I've never, ever been exposed to and never really talked to is someone who actually helps someone write speech speeches. Okay. So when you think about like when clients come to you and say, Des, I really need help. I got to deliver the speech. I could use some help kind of like crafting this thing. Are, are there certain kinds of general themes you're seeing with your clients recently? And like are the speeches all about change or are the speeches all about... I don't know what else they'd be. Well, I work with a wide variety of presenters. So some of them are technical presentations, as you mentioned. So maybe sharing the numbers um, with the sales team and trying to figure out, you know, how we could do more or how we could do better. Uh, and then I also work with like the speaker I was working with re recently was a diversity and inclusion speaker. And yeah. so he was talking about those issues. So it's sort of all over the board for me. And that's the part that makes it interesting. Uh, number one, because every time you present, you got to hit a home run. So you can't get up to the plate and take a day off, you know, when you're on stage. Yeah. So I love that part of it. You always have to bring your A game. And then the other part of it is you can always get better. So I always say that there are three presentations. There's the one you give. I'm sorry, there's the one you prepare for. There's the one you give. And then there's the one you wish you gave, right? And then every scenario that always happens, even to the best speakers. <laughs> <laughs>